markets could be a little bit too optimistic about inflation. Inflation is not easy to curb. Once developed economies surpass the 5% inflation rate, it takes about a decade to bring it down to 2%, according to estimates of Deutsche Bank. In this graph that uh, is courtesy of BlackRock, what we see is that curbing inflation back to 2% would require a very significant slump in gross domestic product. Uh, we are seeing in the developed economies, and this is for the United States, obviously, we are seeing that uh, the level of aggregate demand is actually not diminishing as quickly as probably central banks would want. However, what we need to also understand is that when governments that weigh about 50 to 60 percent sometimes of GDP are not just not reducing demand but increasing their demand by spending more, then the reduction in aggregate demand is likely to come fundamentally from the private sector. So it is going to take more time to bring inflation down to 2% than what uh, many anticipate right now and probably would want. That is why the message of central banks is so aggressive about remaining uh, within the path that they have set. But let's also uh, have in mind that central bank policy remains extremely accommodative that they're not reducing their balance sheet yet, that the pace of rate hikes is still uh, behind the curve in numerous cases, and that it's in many cases as well, particularly in Europe and in Japan, they continue to monetize government spending in very significant ways. So let's be at least, at least aware of the fact that there is a risk that uh, inflation may be more persistent and more importantly, that if government don't reduce their spending, the reduction in aggregate demand is going to come only from the private sector and that means a severe slump.